War crimes. You commit them but don't talk about it. I commit them and post it on YouTube for thousands to see. And what better way to commit them than by playing Blade and Sorcery? This game didn't just recently get a boring old update, but was fully released. Blade and Sorcery has transformed into what is basically a completely new game. It adds skill trees, a campaign mode, tornadoes, weapon nados, human nados? So let's get started with the new mode that was added called Crystal Hunt. Wait, 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 wait. Before we get into that, I got my two Nintendo Switch Joy-Cons and three phones, strapped them to my body using leg straps, pant pockets, and a fanny pack, and then I got all of this to be connected together to work as full body tracking in VR. Now is it perfect? Up, kick, kick, sort of. The left one's not as great, remember that. No, does it work well enough? Yes, this video does include me using them, so I hope you enjoy, they're a pain in the ass to set up. But without further ado, let's get to the content by starting a new character. There, I made a... made an Aaron Jaeger. Oh yeah, oh yeah, this is peak gameplay. Okay, you know what, I'm gonna break your back, I don't like you. No, 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 no. BAM! Uh. <laughs> God, I have to keep adjusting my stupid fanny pack on my chest, can you stop it? So now that I have my DIY full body tracking suit set up, I am ready to experience the new game mode. Notice how that was in quotes. Well that's because this is actually not a new mode. This was already in the game except it had no purpose and quite frankly, it was kinda trash. Now it essentially acts as the campaign mode of this game that introduces you to all the new content and spells. Really, all the new content just creates fresher ways for you to commit war crimes. Smell it, smell it, you die from the smell. I think she died from the smell. Man, it was that bad, huh? Here's what we're gonna do. Okay, I'm gonna grab you. I'm gonna do a great job of protecting you. <laughs> this is... Oh, this is working so well. Okay. You asked for this. No, no, <laughs> you're shaking your head no like you don't want this. I know you do. Now hold steady. Now, now look what you did. You bled on everything else other than the basket. Why do you think I placed it there? Oh my god, it, it's leaked footage of the Minecraft movie. Oh my god. I am Steve. Oh, I am so sorry, ma'am. I was almost about to grab something I really shouldn't have. It's okay, guys. She's dead. That's also a crime. I should not say that. Hide the evidence. I am probably now on 30 different watch lists. And what further allows this Diddy-like behavior is the insane new skill tree that was added into the game. This was added to give a sense of progression while slowly teaching you how to use the new spells. Despite that though, I still suck at this game and often still fumble while trying to cast anything. I need spells. I have a Sukuna spell. The Sukuna spell is supposed to decapitate people. Oh, what am I doing? Oh, oh, what the fuck? The spells in this game are wild and I still have a lot more to discover and many more combinations to make. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention. You can now combine spells to make the atrocities of World War II Germany look like a shitty Fortnite mid-season live event. I mean, just look at what you can do. Kami, Kami. Ah. Uppercut and body slam. Oh. Oh, you don't deserve to exist. And this is only heightened by the mods that you can install as they still work in Crystal Hunt. The new game mode also added a shop to the game that sells things like weapons and gear. I forgot I installed some of the mods. What, he has a bulge, brother. What is, I mean, come on. Who wouldn't want this to be your friend? You can also sell your own items for cash if it isn't too hard to part away from them. This is for sale. This is for sale. This is for sale. Be careful with them. These are antiques. These are very high quality action figures. Oh my god. No, censor that. And of course, life isn't fun without a threesome. The store also had a mirror for me to admire my looks in. You know what I am. I'm sexy. Sorry, just my inner Aaron Jaeger came out. For freedom! Tata Kai, dude! Tata Kai! That's like if Aaron wasn't a frat. 
Another thing that is almost just as admirable as Aaron Yeager's glistening pecs is the amount of lore that has been added to this game. As you play through the campaign, the generated rooms are filled with these little lore pieces that are drip fed to you and which tells you the story of the world and how it came to be. This game goes so deep into the lore that they even made their own language and hid ancient text to decipher around the game world. Lore! Lore! Oh my god, game theory! Game theory! Get on this! Can I read- can I read the lore? Here, good book, read it. I am parrying like a motherfucker. I have the power of god and lore. Take it! Lore dump! Lore dump! Lore dump! You don't even know your own lore! Very nice. It's time I teach you how to learn- No, 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 no. You're gonna read the fucking book. That's enough. And on top of that, this game is a sandbox game, meaning that you can completely skip the lore despite its sheer magnitude. That's how big this game has gotten. And albeit I've already covered the gist of all the game content, I haven't yet talked about any of the small improvements that have been made that only makes this already fantastic experience 10 times better. One of which, for example, is how I believe that stealth has been officially added to the game. Before, you could try and sneak up behind someone, but they would just spin around and jump your ass but now I can jump their ass oh my god I'm sorry I missed again I'm so sorry we're gonna style the kill shh, shh, shh. that's the first successful stealth kill up we go got a motherfucker no oh, I missed fuck Okay, well I never said I was good. I think it goes without saying that me plus Hitman VR is a bad combo. I stay for it, isn't it? <laughs> What'd you say to me? Huh. What do you mean, huh? Uh Look a bird! On top of some quality of life improvements, the game now runs better, looks better, and now has full self-casted shadows, which is pretty uncommon for a VR game. But to be honest, it can still use some work. It's like I'm a skeleton, like I'm broke, dude. What, have I not been eating for 50 years? yo -ho 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 -ho. I don't have a body. Everything added in this update doesn't just apply to the campaign mode though, as it also applies to the sandbox mode. The entire skill tree is here, which I was completely shocked by how massive it was. Whoa, that's a lot more than I thought there was in this game. Holy shit, I am astonished. Oh my god, there is so much progression in this game, it's insane. It genuinely makes me want to invest even more time into this game so I can master every little aspect of it. But that will come with training, and you can't do that without looking the part. So I tried on a few outfits before heading into battle. It's the peak! It's the peak! I did not fucking octopus, okay? That's just a rumor. Nobody really knows. Yuji Dory. <laughs> What is this? Wait, what? Fight one Megumi Fushiguro? Is, does he spawn like Maharaga? That is not Megumi. That is not Megumi. You are not Megumi. Where is Fushiguro? Fushiguro! Not even Maharaga could save these subjects from the new spell combos I was gonna bust out on their asses. Combining the very few mods that are available and the new spells creates what I like to call the Diddy Party Special. Oh! What? What is that? Black Flash! Oh, that was awful. Wait, what? The mod doesn't work. I broke the mod. Oh! I did not break the mod. That all- Wait, did you just decapitate yourself? Oh my god. That is beautiful, I didn't even do anything. Or were you that afraid of me? I also tried to recreate the human kebab from the last video that I made on this game, and sadly, the sequel did not go so well. No! No! Wait, I have an idea. Ugh. Let's go! It worked! This is your friend! Oh, fuck, where'd it go? As I have mentioned multiple times throughout this video, the mod list is awful right now. Blade and Sorcery gets about one major update a year, with this one's being the final full release. These impactful updates tend to break mods heavily. This results in what we have today, which is a very barren mod list. And until the mod scene picks up, I can see a future where I just stick to playing an older version of the game where mods actually work and can enhance the experience outside of the campaign. But even with the mods being the one 
one downside of this update, Blade and Sorcery has still evolved into a beast of a game, and they aren't even done with the content. As stated in their Steam developer log, updates are still on the way for some more minor things. This is great for us on PC as we are going to get a pretty consistent stream of content in the form of official updates and hopefully mods. But really this game is massive and has so much to explore and do and progress through now. I can't wait to jump back into this game and break the Geneva Convention in a whole new way I didn't know was possible. I'd easily recommend for everybody to check out this update for themselves because I purposefully did not show some of the specific things that I saw or did as a lot of it should be experienced by the player to avoid spoilers. So with that being said, thank you guys for making it to the end of the video and if I don't make a new video in the next few weeks then I'm probably too busy practicing my magic skills to 1v1 Harry Potter.